Family medicine like it used to be, affordable, personal, and looking to the future. on Sun Valley's Athlete of the Week is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Patrick Buchanan, Agent. Welcome to the Boardman. Since 1988, the Boardman has been supporting sideways sports with the best selection of snow and skateboards in Idaho. We have a great variety of rental packages of top quality to choose from and so much more. The hottest in snow sports, fashion, a women's boutique, an extensive shoe collection, a kids department, and even bathing suits. The board bin. Fun in the sun, fun in the snow, gifts for the entire family. I'm Michael David with Ionson Valley Sports, and it's my honor and privilege to be joined by our Athlete of the Week, Sun Valley icon, Olympian, Muffy Davis. Muffy, congratulations. Thanks for being with us. Thanks. It's an honor to be here. Um, well, the timing's perfect. We, we wanted to have you on here for a long time, but right now, the Olympics are in full mm. swing. Paralympics start uh, soon. Um, you're our most decorated uh, Olympian uh, in, in a valley that's got a lot of Olympians. Mm -hmm. uh, what tell us about the Olympic experience and uh, for you and and what it means to you? Um, well, it's been so fun watching the games over in Pyeongchang. It's um, I don't know something about the Olympics. I I started crying in the opening ceremony as I always do. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it takes me back to when I was a kid and I first watch it or what, but it has. It's just I think it's when the world all comes together and for sport and for right. fun and you know, to be our best, and um, it's, it's neat. It doesn't happen that often anymore, so it was really, and then when we watched North and South Korea walk in together, my heart just, it was, there's hope, there's potential. It's really exciting. So, right, right. Um, it takes me right back to being an athlete and being in it, and, y and there's a part of you that so misses it, and then there's the part of you that remembers how hard you had to work and train, and you don't miss any of it. Right, right. But, um, but I just have loved every aspect of it. Sure, and sure. How great our Team USA is, and we have such amazing women out there. I right, love, right. you know, Michaela Schifrin, Lindsay Bond. All of them, Chloe Kant. I mean, just the list goes on and on. On and on, yeah, and, and it does. Like it brings a community together. I mean, we 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 our very own Chase Josie was competing Chase. in the oh, in the so in excited. the Olympics, and and uh, he did awesome. Uh, you he know did that for his first games. Right, I right. Mean, Wow, were we on edge of seat? Yeah, it was yeah. all, I mean, it couldn't have been and better. The community, get, they gathered together for viewings and everything like I that. Know, it's really I was so needed. sad I couldn't be there at a thing down in Gooding. Yeah, but yeah. I um, saw the picture in the paper and I was like, oh, how awesome. I mean, this, this is a very special place. Right. It's why I moved back, because mm -hmm. I want my daughter to experience how cool. What we have here is community. Yeah. And you don't have that in the rest of, you know, rest of the country, the rest of the world. I don't know, the community that we have is so unique and yeah. so so vital and so important. That's great, yeah, and, and, Ch and Chase kind of grabbed the snowboard torch from, from Caitlin Farrington, our, our very own Caitlin Farrington, yeah. who, who won gold. Um, talk about the Olympic Ladies Project that you're involved with, and, and I know Caitlin is as well. Yes, what a huge honor. Um, Brian Bershotti, what a great guy. He just had this idea, and then um, it's just spurred on. So. The goal is to get at least six, if not more. I think we've added um, Hillary Knight, too. Oh, so cool. Great. She will be one as well. So when it's finished, when we get all of these statues built, it will be the largest women's sports monument in the world. Right, right. So we're just gung-ho. We're in the middle of raising money for Kristen's statue. Um, we've got her Kristen maquette. Kristen Cooper, right? Kristen Cooper, yep. the 84 silver medalist, who was one of my idols and heroes. And um, when Mr. Holding came to me and said he was going to rename a run on the mountain, I knew where I wanted to be because I couldn't think of a better spot than between Gretchen Fraser, my mentor, <laughs> my hero, and Kristen Cooper, another hero. And so to be right there is right. like the biggest blessing and gift in the world. Right, right. What, what do you think it is about this valley that draws uh, 
uh, Olympians uh, from the past uh, and, and current L Olympians, breeding current Olympians. What, I what is it? Well, I think it goes back to what I was talking before, community. I think it's, you know, it's what draws all of us here. Right. It's, you know, really special. It's why do we have so many um, celebrities that like to come here? You just get to be yourself. Right, right. And, you know, you can walk into Atkinson's and you're just a normal person. You're just like everyone else. Um, you can go and you can reach your dreams, but then you can go out and hang out with everyone else. And just, right. so it's, we have a really, the community that we have here is so unique. And yeah. it's what brought me back. And it, I've always said, this has always been home. Right. I just had to go away for some, you know, to train for the games and ended up meeting my husband. And we were like, how do we get back? Sure, sure. Yeah, no, and, and we face that. It, we, we want more people like you, mm -hmm. young, young people like you to come back. To well, we have all our community. great people. We don't want to lose them. You know, Idaho, and that's what we really, you know, it's, it's a neat state. And it, right now, I guess we're gaining a lot because we're the, one of the fastest growing states in the sure, nation. Sure, it so. it's a good spot. We, we've been under the radar, though. Is it, uh, I it know. Might, might be in trouble. <laughs> 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 that, that's wonderful. Uh, you, you were an Olympic hopeful before your, before your accident. Um, and then you, you kind of restarted and reinvented and, and uh, skied to a medals in the, in the Olympics. Uh, and then you switched to Summer yes. Olympics. Talk about how you've kind of reinvented or, or kind of adjusted your goals uh, as you've been moving forward. Um, you know, I set my goal to be an Olympic skier when I was seven years old. I have no idea, and maybe it's because I grew up in Sun Valley and right. there's so many Olympians around. I mean, most seven-year-olds don't know what the Olympics are or why. Or, <laughs> right. um, but for me, I was on Sun Valley ski team and I just knew that was out there and I've always been competitive. And, right. and that doesn't go away. Yeah, you know, yeah, as you yeah. get older, you still keep that drive and um, yeah, and you so, still got it. <laughs> yeah, you still keep that competitive side. And so um, I think, you know, it was devastating, sure, my accident. Mm -hmm. But again, the community and the support that I had gave me the confidence to get back out there and to try adaptive skiing. Sure. And I learned about the Paralympic movement. And I learned that that goal, you know, I just had to take this branch instead of that branch. And right. so instead of, you know, and, and I will always be an Olympic hopeful but I am a Paralympic gold medalist. You and are, so for me, sir. I'm very proud, you know, and yeah, it was hard and yeah, it was, but I grew and I became stronger and, um, and to get to that games and to learn that I could do it a different way. And so right. for me, part of my mission in life is to share that message with other people because no one gets through life without hardship, without sure. a challenge, without right. adversity. And to, if you can hopefully see someone else who's like had that adversity and found a new way, you don't have to limit yourself. You right, find right. a new way, you yeah. find a new way to get there. And, um, and then, yeah, who knew that I had to switch sports to summer to get the gold? <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> always like I always said, God made me to be a ski racer, and then I'm like, wait, I have to modify that. Right. God right. made me to be a, a competitor. Right. So, um, but I had my daughter, and to get back in shape after skiing or after having her giving birth, want, cycling is one of the best um, aerobic sure. exercises that someone in a wheelchair that we have right, at our right. disposal. So I just started cycling, and again, being a competitor, it just kind of evolved. <laughs> and before I know it, I was at US Nationals, and I won that, and I called my husband, I'm like, um, I just made a world championship team, are we gonna do this? And he was like, <laughs> he was great, he was so supportive. He said, the best role model you can be for our daughter is to chase her dreams. Right, right. So we chased it, and we joke that it's, it's fitting that I won three golds, because we call them the triplets, and one for each of us. Nice, nice. So our Christmas card picture that next year was each of us wearing a medal, because, yeah. you know, again, it's teamwork, they sacrificed, um, and, and I couldn't have done it without their support. Right. What an intense sport that uh, hand cycling seems, uh, yeah. seems to be watching it. Like uh, It's it, awesome. <laughs> it's, so for me, um, I always say it's fitting I didn't win the gold in skiing, in adaptive skiing, because I never could go 100% because my injury level is quite high. And, uh -huh. and when you think about skiing, I, I feel one inch of my ski and I just, if I went 100%, I'd fall a lot of times. So okay. I always had to hold back a little. And, in the Olympics, in the Paralympics, you shouldn't win gold if you're not going 100%. And, right, right. And, and so, but I feel like I'm the athlete that I was before I broke my back in cycling. Because I don't have to worry about falling, so I can go, go 100%. Uh, right. And I can push hard. And, you know, it was fitting. In the games, I won my first, combat, my first time trial by two minutes. Because wow. I just, no one wanted it more. No one was out there. No one had worked as hard as I had. I knew it. I mean, I just knew yeah. that well, I was going to get it. Other women probably knew it, and they were like, "Damn!" I'm <laughs> <doing this." laughs> no. uh, you're, you allowed me uh, the honor to wear your your gold medal from the London 2012 Paralympics, uh, uh, and you told me a cool story about kind of a role model that you met. Um, uh, t tell us that story. 
I can't remember. I'm sorry. The, the one about the, the ribbons and, and you, oh, let you gosh, letting me yes, feel, uh, yes. feel and feel. So I've had so this. many amazing mentors and role models in my life. <laughs> I forget sure which have. story. So yeah. So when I was um, just after I'd won my medal in '98, we were in Park City at an event, and I met. And I wish I could remember his name. He was a swimmer, and he won his gold swimming medal when he was 17 years old. Oh, wow. And by this time, he was about 70. And he said his goal was when he passed away. The ribbon, the ribbon that was on the medal, right. had worn out from so many people touching and holding and feeling the medal, and I thought that was so awesome. So um, that's my goal too now. Yeah. Um, I my, I feel the value and the power in the medals is letting people touch them, wear them, hold on to them, right. not locking them away. Sure, sure. You know, I you know, and and people are good. They always make their way back to me when I go to speaking events. I pass them around, and people right. are like, "You're," I'm like, "You know what? They make their way back. People are really good yeah, at heart. Yeah, they're yeah. good." No, 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 and it is. It's it's an amazing experience to to actually feel it and to 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 get that that it is. It is, and you. I tell people, I say, now you have it. Now you know what that feels like. Now go chase your own. Right. Figure out what's that goal. What's that that you want? Well, you know. And I tell kids, it's for me. I mean, if I can inspire, motivate kids to chase their dreams sure. and to not be deterred when challenge happens. Right. But to find a new way, if it's important enough, you'll find a way to get there. Right. And, 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 and you've done you've done that uh, in addition to your athletics. You're you're a motivational speaker. You've done a TED talk uh, or maybe more. You, you, uh, why do you feel that that is something that you need to do just uh, beyond just competing on the athletic fields? Um, well, I, it's the same old adage I feel to those who much has been given, much is expected, and I've been blessed. Right. I mean, I really have in my life. Yeah, I've had a hard life. No one gets away. I mean, like I said before, we all have hard times, but. Um, I've had an amazing support system, and um, I and I also what you don't realize is is the same old adage you gain by giving. Sure. And so I go to when I get to go to these. I always say I have the best job ever when I get to go to these events, and hopefully, like people come up to me and they're like, "Thank you so much, you helped me," or this and that. That's like a gift. Right. What a blessing. I used to hate the I word. I call it the I word when I was young. My I come home and I'm like, Dad, they use the I word, and he's like. The inspiration word. Right. And I'm like, oh, I'm just do living my life. I just want to do what I want to do. And and then I realize if I can live my life and do what I want to do and inspire others, that's a gift. Because sure. what does the world mean more than inspiration right yeah. now? Yeah. Well, wonder. You're a wonderful gift to our community and, and beyond. And so uh, it was so great to to talk to you about that. The para the Paralympics begin any any day now. You're going to be out there in uh, Korea checking it out. Uh, Quite the honor. Yeah. yeah. I um, as a board member. I get to award medals. Oh, so I have cool. just found out the schedule and I'll get to give a couple of different medals to different athletes. Wonderful. So and, and huge it's, honor. It's so great how the Oli Olympics and the Paralympics are now basically one one big event and uh, you know Dick Fosbury has been on here uh, mm -hmm. who's a who's so involved and uh, he scolded me for calling him a former Olympian once and now I'll never make Always that mistake an Olympian. again. <laughs> Always an uh, Olympian. But but you 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 are involved way beyond just the just the games well yeah again and it goes back to um i i think the responsibility i have to help steward the movement um you know i've been very blessed i always say i i've been lucky i've had good timing twice in my life the year i was born title nine was enacted oh wow and then i had my accident and that was the same year that the paralympic movement w became and so for me I never had to change my dreams and goals. And right. it's because people fought and pushed and made that happen. So I feel the responsibility to keep pushing forward and making opportunities available for the next generation and, and to make it better. Well, thanks so much for being with us. I, uh, I've got so much more to talk to you about mm -hmm. and I, it'll be fun to have you have you on again, uh, maybe after the after the Paralympics and, and tell us about that experience. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. My guest has been Muffy Davis, our very own Paralympian champion. I want to thank our sponsors for making Athlete of the Week possible. Patrick Buchanan with State Farm Insurance, Sun Valley Associates, a tradition of excellence since 1962. Dr. Tom Marchi, InterHealth MD, family medicine the way it used to be. The board bin, fun in the sun and fun in the snow. And Zenergy's Pivot, that studio opening this month. I'm Michael David with Eye on Sun Valley Sports, keeping my eye on Wood River Valley Sports and Wood River Valley Olympians ah. for you. Eye on Sun Valley, daily local news from beautiful Sun Valley, Idaho.